Hello oh, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 408, valid word abbreviation. A string can be abbreviated by replacing any number of non-adjacent, non-empty substrings with their lengths. The lengths should not have leading zeros. For example, a string such as substitution could be abbreviated as, but not limit to, S10N, because we have the S, then 10 characters, and then an N, so that's what the 10 is, it represents this part. SUB4U4, so that would be SUB, then we get these four, we get the U, then we get the four characters at the end. We could just have 12, so we just, the entire length of substitution gets uh, abbreviated as 12. We could have SU3, so SU, three characters, I, one character, the T, U, two characters, TI, and then ON. Substitution, we don't replace anything. And here are some non-valid um, abbreviation. S55, so um, we can't have two adjacent substrings, uh, like the problem says, so that's why this one doesn't work. We can't have a leading zero on this one, so this is why this one doesn't work. Um, this does not actually replace anything. As you can see, there's still the characters of substitution in here. The zero just doesn't do anything. Uh, and then given a word and an abbreviation abbreviation, return whether the string matches the given abbreviation. So a substring is a continuous uh, non-empty sequence of characters within a string. So if we have the word internationalization and the abbreviation I12, IZ4N, is this valid? So we have the I here. And then we need to go 12 characters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. We have the 12 characters there. And then we have IZ. Okay, that's fine. And then we have four characters. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be four characters. And then we have our N. And uh, we're at the end of both strings. We've processed the entirety of our word and the entirety of the abbreviation. Therefore, that's fine. We can return true. Then we have the word apple. So we have an A here. That's fine. Two characters. Okay, let's get rid of it. And then we have an E, which doesn't match with the L, which is where we're currently at in the word. Uh, therefore, this is not a valid abbreviation. So as you can see, what we want to do is basically just have two pointers. And what we want to do is we want to compare two things. So we want to compare whether the current pointer in the you know word equals to its corresponding character in abbreviation. So for example, we have the I's here and they match. So we're good to go to move forward into the abbreviation. So the abbreviation, we need to parse out any numbers that come. And remember, we can't just parse them one at a time. We have to parse entire numbers because right, it's not one and then two, it's actually 12 uh, that go together. So we'd have to parse out 12. Once we've parsed this 12, we want to move our word pointer up whatever 12 spaces is. So in this case, it ends up at this I here. And then we can check the next thing in our abbreviation, which is this IZ4N. So the I's match, that's good. The Z's match, those are good. Then we can move four characters forward. So we go A, T, I, O, N. So now our pointer would be here. And then the last thing we have to compare are these two N's and they match. and at that point, we have finished processing our abbreviation and we're at the end of our string, so we can return true. If we finish processing the abbreviation and there's still left uh, things left in the string, then that's not a valid abbreviation because the abbreviation doesn't cover all the strings. So there's a few edge cases here that we want to cover. Uh, and, you know, namely, they kind of told us them up here, right? We can't have. Um, oh, sorry, that is a valid abbreviation. My bad. Um, so we can't have like two substrings that are adjacent because remember it's non-adjacent. We can't have leading zeros. We can't be replacing an empty substring. Uh, so we have to watch out for those in our solution, but it's really not that bad. It's going to be a two pointer solution and it's pretty straightforward. This question is marked easy, although I would say it's probably more of a medium because of how annoying it is. Uh, I don't know who graded this on leak code, but I think they're wrong. Anyway, so let's go to the code editor and code this up because it's really not that bad. Back in the editor and it's time to write the code. Remember that we need two pointers to track our progress through the word and through the abbreviation. So let's set those variables up. So we're going to say word pointer equals to abbreviation pointer. And these are both initially going to be at the index zero. So let's initialize it like that. 
Now, remember that we need to parse through our entire word and our entire abbreviation. And we're going to do that using a while loop. So we're going to say while word pointer is less than the length of our word. Whoops, less than the length of our word. Obviously, we don't want to access things outside of our uh, word or abbreviation. So we need to make sure that we're actually within the bounds here. So we're going to say and the abbreviation pointer is less than the length of the abbreviation. So far, pretty straightforward. What we want to do is check whether or not our current um, character in the actual abbreviation is a character or it's a digit. Uh, because if it's a digit, then we need to parse out the digits and move our word pointer up. Otherwise, we want to compare whether or not the two are equal in the abbreviation and the word. So we're going to say if abbreviation of abbreviation pointer, so basically the character at abbreviation pointer in abbreviation, uh, if it's a digit, then what we want to do is figure out how many steps forward we need to move our word pointer uh, to deal with, you know, however many numbers are in our kind of number here. So we're going to say steps equals to zero. Uh, and one thing that we want to check now is actually if we have a leading zero. If we have a leading zero, remember this is not allowed, so this is an invalid abbreviation. So let's double check that. So we're going to say if abbreviation of abbreviation pointer actually equals to a zero, then that means that we have a leading pointer and we can simply return false because this is not a valid abbreviation string by the definition of our problem here. Now what we need to do is we need to parse out the number of steps, which just involves parsing out this uh, number here. It can be you know multiple digits long, it's not guaranteed to just be one number, right? You could have 12, you could have 1000, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to parse it while we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while abbreviation pointer is less than the length of abbreviation, obviously, we don't want an index error. And while the abbreviation pointer, uh, whatever character is at that index is a digit, that means that we still need to be processing is digit, whoops. Uh, what we want to do is we want to say steps equals to steps um, times 10 plus integer of whatever the um, abbreviation pointer is. So this is how we're going to parse it. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to say abbreviation pointer plus one oops, plus equals to one. We need to move our pointer forward and then we're going to continue. Now, once this breaks, either we reach the end of our abbreviation or we um, we hit a character that's no longer a digit, so we want to stop parsing things. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to say the word pointer needs to get moved up by this number of steps, uh, because obviously you know we have the twelve, so we need to move you know twelve characters forward, so then we can compare the next things in the actual abbreviation. So that is the case where um, the current character is a digit. So we're going to parse out all of the digits up until the next like actual character and then we're going to move our word pointer up otherwise if we have characters we just need to check for equality so we're going to say if word of uh, word pointer so we need to make sure that the two are actually equal so if word pointer uh, uh sorry if word of word pointer does not equal to the abbreviation of abbreviation pointer then what we want to do is simply return false here because obviously the two characters don't match therefore it's not a valid abbreviation uh, otherwise, if they do match, all we want to do is just move our word point pointer up by one. And we also want to move our abbreviation pointer up by one. And that's all we need to do for the actual loop. Now, remember at the end, we needed to make sure that we had processed the entirety of our word and the entirety of our abbreviation. If it's a valid abbreviation, then the indexes uh, of this word pointer and abbreviation pointer, they're going to be equal to the length of our word and the length of our abbreviation respectively. If they're not, then that means that somewhere we didn't use up uh, the entirety of the word or maybe I think, yeah, I think it means that we didn't use up the entirety of the word. Therefore, the abbreviation was actually too short. So we need to make sure that we actually reach the end of um, both of these strings here. And that would mean that we actually abbreviated everything correctly. So we're going to say return uh, whether or not word pointer equals to the length of word and whether the abbreviation uh, pointer equals to the length of abbreviation because that, you know, th these two statements here together 
are going to indicate whether or not we abbreviated everything. So I'm just going to run this, make sure I didn't make any syntax errors and embarrass myself. Looks like it is fine. So let's submit this and it works. So what is the time and space complexity of our algorithm here? Well, we can see that we need to process. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, we need to process our word and our abbreviation. So in the worst case, the abbreviation is going to equal to the word, right? They're going to be the exact same word, which means that it's going to take big O of n time to basically compare every character in both the abbreviation and the word to check whether or not the two are equal. So that's the worst case where the word and the abbreviation um, are the same. So the abbreviation isn't really abbreviation. It's just literally the same word. And that's totally fine. We can have the same string and that's okay. As you can see, substitution is a valid abbreviation for substitution. No substrings were replaced and that's totally fine. So for the space complexity, as you can see, we don't actually define any sort of data structures here. We just have two um, integer pointers and that's it. There's no lists, no sets, no dictionaries, nothing. It's just those two pointers and that's going to be a big O of one space allocation. So that's going to be how you solve this problem. As you can see, it's pretty heavily downvoted. I think it's uh, a little bit interesting. I don't think it's an easy question. This is probably more of a medium um, just because it's a little bit hard to figure out all the edge cases. Um, but regardless, this is how you solve it. It's pretty straightforward, especially once you've seen the answer. Uh, I think once you've seen this video, you should be able to, you know, conjure this up if you see it in an interview. So, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I really want to grow my channel and your subscription helps me reach more people. So please do that so more people can access this content. Otherwise, I want to thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.